Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we're gonna do yet another book review. And this time we're gonna do one a little bit more nerdy, a little bit more towards the DevOps side of computer science and artificial intelligence, which is Jenkins. So this book really dives into the continuous integration with Jenkins. And let's first start by talking about the author. So the author's name is Nikhil Patania, who is an expert in software development, specifically on managing the entire life cycle of a software development project. He has years of experience in software development, software management, and he's been working at Siemens for a long time. He has pioneered and spearheaded a variety of different software development projects, and really, he is the center of DevOps team, which is the go-to guy that you want to work with to get your product in production. And me personally, I've had a fair share of experience in the past working with DevOps team. And let me tell you, oh boy, do I wish that this book exists when I was doing the previous job, just so I can get some hands-on guidance to not even just to do it, but also to communicate, uh, to really understand what is going on in the world of DevOps domain. So with that being said, let's get started with the content of the book. So the book is talking about Jenkins, meaning that we are really in the domain of CI/CD pipeline. Now, of course, uh, if you are not in the domain or have not worked as an engineer before, that might sound novel to you. But to break it down in plain English, CI/CD means continuing integration, continuing development. So what that means is if you have a new product coming out and you want to roll out a new feature, roll out a new machine, roll out a new model, or even just update your model. Like for example, once in a while you train your model and you update the parameters, right? So all those things need to be done and how you execute that is through CI CD pipeline, which the biggest part of that is the Jenkins. When I was just a data scientist, I didn't really have the exposure to work with DevOps people. So I might not have realized or appreciate the content of Jenkins and the power that Jenkins can build and contribute to the entire production pipeline. But of course, thanks to my previous jobs, I have some luck working with DevOps people and kind of understand a little bit and have some hands-on experience working with Jenkins. So that's how I know Jenkins can be powerful, which is why when I saw this book, I was like, gee, there are lots of new features that they're trying to roll out in Jenkins and, and that could really make it interesting. So the way I understand it is pipeline is really flexible. It allows you to update your code automatically. And then second thing is it needs to be durable, right? It needs to survive planned as well as unplanned executions. And me personally, I've definitely made those mistakes before. I've hit some button or there are certain variables in the Jenkins file that I forgot to change and that somehow affects somebody else's work or the vice versa, right? So all those things should be taken care of. And I think Pipeline gave us that feature to handle some of that issues automatically. And then thirdly, one interesting thing is that it's possible. Now, what do I mean by that is somewhere in the middle, there ought to be a feature that will allow and wait for the human input before the whole thing continue to run. And I think when it comes to project that are huge amount of values at stake, that could really be something interesting. Like for example, if it's a medical diagnosis or maybe it's a huge trade in a financial market that you're trying to execute, all those things probably should require human input or some sort of human intervention, just so that you don't cause a crash or you don't give the patients the wrong medical opinions. So one thing that's come up that's very interesting to kind of give you like a hollow world introduction is called Jenkins Blue Ocean. It's a very interesting, very user-friendly interface such that you can essentially drag and drop and kind of create your own project using Jenkins. So you go in there, log in, right? And then create a new item on the Jenkins website create your name, credentials, so on and so forth. And then you can create a pipeline. And in the pipeline, of course, there's a Jenkins script that you can write using pipeline. 
So how it works is it's kind of like a declarative instruction script with pipeline being the keyword. And then there's a curly bracket and then underneath you can define different stages, different action item, so on and so forth. Like for example, you can create an agent and then maybe the agent says, hello world, display that sentence on your screen. So something like that can probably get you started with Jenkins file. It's one quick way of executing a print statement and see that through in production, how that affects the Jenkins output. And then of course, save the file, save the script, and then you can build it. And then once you're building it, you see this console of print statement coming out saying, hey, started by user XYZ, and this is the pipeline. You're executing the pipeline. Here's a node, here's a Jenkins script. And then somewhere down there, it says echo hello world, which makes the entire pipeline extremely fast. And then this hello world is just an example, right? On top of that, you can manage different branches. You can build Docker container, Docker images using Jenkins pipeline. So it really creates this extremely flexible and versatile software development experience for the developers out there, which I thought is interesting. And let me tell you the way I see it, I think especially for those that are new in this industry that are doing a lot of machine learning on their Python notebooks and they have no idea how it works in production, this book is for you. This book can give you that initial introduction of how things work in Jenkins in the DevOps and kind of give you a highlight of how DevOps people, how DevOps team put things in production and work things around. So last thing I want to say is this book actually has a full list of complementary codes and scripts on the GitHub repo with Pack Publisher, which I really appreciate because that makes my life easier, right? I don't have to retype it, copy from the book. I can just execute from one of the chapters and practice, and that will give me a sense of how things work in production. And for those of you who are a little bit more experienced, like maybe you have already wrote some Docker file, put that in production, build Docker images, and see that through Jenkins workflow, I think what this book is also gonna do for you is to give you those new features. Perhaps it'll be interesting to try them out, and, and things like Pipeline, Jenkins Blue Ocean can probably make your original work more fluent, more automatic, as well as hopefully easier. So with that being said, hope you liked today's video. Hopefully it gives you a highlight of what the book is about. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.